Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across small fonts when you're using a high definition monitor on your Windows 10 computer. This should hopefully be a fairly straightforward process, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing I would suggest would be if there's a particular application or program you're having the issue with. I'm going to just open up the start menu. Let's say we're having an issue when we're using the Firefox web browser. So I'm just going to open up Firefox in the search results. And then instead of selecting the Firefox web application, I'm just going to right click on it and then select open file location. I'm going to right click on the shortcut for it and then I'm going to select properties. I'm going to select the compatibility tab. You want to select where it says change high DPI settings and check mark where it says override high DPI scaling behavior, scaling performed by and then select the drop down and select system parentheses enhanced and then select OK. Once you're done with that select apply and OK. You can always uncheck that option if you decide you don't like it and it should go back to normal. So another thing you can try here as well would be to go open up the start menu so just close out of there open up the start menu left click on the settings gear icon on the left side or you can type in settings as well into the start menu search whatever you prefer and select the system tile select display on the left side and then right click on where it says advanced scaling settings now you have the option if you want to go and modify it yourself so you can enter a custom scaling between 100 and 500 percent so you just would type it in here and then you could select apply you can play around with that if you need to so just you could sign out and then when you restart your computer you will have to adjust it again probably to fine tune it a bit and that just again provides an alternative method on achieving the same result ideally so pretty straightforward process here guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.